Okay, so now we have the Artemis program. It's a spaceship, the first Artemis, went to the moon, went around the moon, came back, landed, but it had no astronauts. That's Artemis 1. Artemis 2 is gonna go to the moon, orbit it, and come back. That'll have astronauts, but it wouldn't have landed. Artemis 3 is gonna go to the moon and land with astronauts. That's the plan. And it'll keep going to Artemis 4, 5, and it's gonna, and in the plan, you can look it up. In the plan, there's a building of a base there, a sustainable presence. The moon will become a new second home for us. So you need energy sources while you're there. You can be doing experiments, you wanna live, you wanna stay warm. At night, it gets very cold on the moon. In the daytime, it gets very hot on the moon. It swings from 200 degrees below zero Fahrenheit to 200 degrees above zero. There's no atmosphere to smooth out that temperature difference. So how long is a day on the moon? A day on the moon lasts a month. Where do you think the word month came from? It's approximately the cycle of phases of the moon. And the cycle of phases of the moon is the moon going through one moon day. If it takes a month, that means the moon has two weeks of sunlight two weeks of darkness. So you can set up solar panels. That's another way you can get energy on the moon. Solar panels, they're cheaper and lighter than a nuclear plant, but there are other issues with it. So for example, you can set them up and for two weeks, you get nothing but sunshine. And even when the sun gets low in the horizon, there's no atmosphere. So the sun near the horizon is just as bright as the sun overhead. And so you get the sunlight no matter what. 24 seven, or however you might measure that on the moon, then the sun sets 